Hey guys, welcome to Hook a Bug. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this easy crochet dishcloth. And I love this dishcloth because it has a lot of different colors, it's bright, it's cheerful, it really makes doing dishes a whole lot nicer. And I'm going to teach you step by step what to do to end up with something that looks like this. So, I'm using a medium sized yarn, specifically sugar and cream yarn, which I bought at Michael's, but you can buy it at any crafting store. And I'm using a five millimeter crocheting hook as well. So, if you like what you see in this video, be sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let's get started. Begin your dishcloth by crocheting 40 chain stitches across. So now that we've done our 40 chain stitches, go ahead and turn your work over and begin your first row of the single crochet stitch. So continue doing the single crochet stitch for a total of 38 rows. So if you find yourself in the position where you run out of yarn, just try to make it to the end of a row, tie it off, and when you've tied it off, reinsert the needle with new yarn and keep working. So count your rows every so often, and once you've reached the end of your project, the 38 rows, start to do your single crochet border. And it's exactly what you've been doing before, but you're just going around the project to make it look finished off. When you're doing your border and you happen to get to an edge, I recommend single crocheting three times into that edge. Um, so it's a three in one stitch and that will give you that smooth corner and prevent your corners from being too squarish. And after that, just keep working the sides, doing the same single crochet stitch.
So when you encounter a yarn tail, you want to pull it through each stitch like you would the longer piece of yarn that you already are pulling through. So instead of just pulling through that long piece of yarn, you pull through that long piece of yarn plus the yarn tail. And that hides it into your border so no one can see it. So once you've done your last edge, just make sure that you remember to do that last little corner where you do the three in one stitch to round it off, tie off your work, and hide the tail into other stitches along the border or within your work so that no one can see it. And the final thing you want to do after that is go back and if you see any other yarn tails sticking out, just trim them and then you are all done. This may just be the most fun thing I've added to my kitchen in a long time and it's certainly going to make doing the dishes a whole lot more fun for me and I'm sure no one in my family will complain about that. Um, so I hope you enjoyed watching how to make this dishcloth and if you did, like my page, subscribe to my page, but stay tuned because in two weeks I will show you how to crochet these beautiful little butterflies. But until then, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.